Hey everyone, it's Jeremy. So I ordered a bag in the mail, mm, I'd say probably four days ago, five days ago, from Coach Outlet, and it came in the mail today. So I thought I should unbox it with you. But before I get into that, I figured, well, I've ordered a couple of things since um, the pandemic hit, or since uh, we've had to kind of go into quarantine. So I thought I might as well just go ahead and show you everything that I've purchased uh, for myself since I was in Vegas. Now, I remember telling you, I think a little bit, when we were in Vegas, it was in March for our anniversary, but our anniversary also kind of coincides with the band 311's biannual holiday. So every other year they have a holiday called 311 Day. And it just so happens that when my husband and I got married, we were already going to a 311 day in Vegas. So when marriage equality finally passed and it was like kind of all of a sudden, we didn't hear my story. So all of a sudden we uh, incorporated getting married with the 311 day we're planning to go to. So that happened to be in Vegas. So I thought to myself, you know what? Let's just show everything that we got since then. And uh, I guess what I'm just gonna suggest that you, sis, get a drink. I have my Modelo here. And we can just go ahead and get right into it. So, we're in Vegas. Picture it. March 2020. And suddenly, there's this like news of this virus going on. And honestly, it wasn't really a thing. We drove to Vegas. It wasn't really a thing uh, right before we left for March 11th, 311 day. And when we were driving, we were listening to podcasts and we were really listening to any news or radio. So in the two days that we drove, or yeah, the two days that we drove out to Vegas, things really changed. So we get there and obviously things are changing. We did manage to make it to all the concerts we, we were supposed to go to because it was a three day concert event. So um, we went. I didn't do a lot of shopping because I just didn't feel, once we kind of started getting wet with things, I didn't feel comfortable. So I did manage to go shopping with my husband one day and when we did that, um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six bags to show you. So I've shown you this before, but when we were out there, I got this. And it's this cute little Michael Kors duffel. And I really, 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 really like it. It's, uh, I don't know why, I just think it's so cute. So I bought this when I was out there. It's rather small, but then at the same time, it's not tiny. You are able to fit a few things inside of it. Um, your essentials or whatever. And you could wear like a little crossbody. It came with a strap, but I tend to use my own strap with it. I'm not really... I don't really like the really, really dainty, thin, more feminine looking strap. I prefer something a little more like a guitar strap or something even just chunkier, just like a, a wider strap. So when I carry this, I either carry it uh, by hand like this, or I will carry it on the strap, but not the strap that I came with, but I love this little bag. So this is my little Michael Kors duffel. Oh, and you know what? I also bought something else. I spent too much money. So when I got home, I started obsessing over this bag and how it's kind of like a speedy. So then I got it in the mini. And I really, 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 really like this. And it is, well, it's not exactly the same actually. 
if you notice this one is a little more of a dome shape and this one is more of a rectangular bag but i really really like both of these and it's exactly the same in every aspect i get to wear it as a crossbody the thing i will say that i like about this one more is because it's a pebble leather it's a more solid surface and this is more porous just because it's fabric so when you carry it out you kind of have to be aware i would assume this one would get dirtier for the average person typically i'm very 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 neat with my bag so i wouldn't worry about that but i got this and i thought it was so cute and i just could not stop obsessing over this bag i just thought it was the cutest thing ever so then i got it and this is one of my old henry bendel uh, dust covers when they closed and i bought my trunk the girl offered me anything i wanted and she gave me like 20 bag covers so then i got the large for a size comparison i got the and that's not actually a large it's a medium is what it is so then i got the medium and i like this one and this one i mean i carry it like a handbag like this, I've used it on the strap also. But this one, it's so huge inside. This one is absolutely huge inside. And you can fit anything you want in here. You can fit like a mini iPad, you can fit your you see phone, you can fit um, like a toiletry bag, you could fit, um, Your agenda, you could fit your... I don't know if I could fit a larger agenda. You could fit a larger agenda in here, just fine. I'm sorry, it's spinning around in here. But you could fit a larger agenda in there just fine. And like a whole bunch of other stuff. Honestly, you could low key use this bag as like a weekend bag. Like if you went somewhere, maybe you'll spend at your boyfriend's house or something, you could probably put like, I believe you could put a change of clothes in here. Or if you went to the pool for a day or something and you wanted to like have some extra stuff with you that you were gonna change into when you were done. You could put this bag, and I like it. And it has a nice uh, lock detail that I like. And then after that, I was looking around on eBay because, I mean, this is, this is, I don't have my watch on, but this is over the quarantine. So this is like since March 11th, right? So then I saw this bag. And this is the Michael Kors. So far, every bag I've shown you right now is the Michael Kors. Which you know that's my brand, but I also mess with um, Coach Heavy. So then I saw this on Michael Kors, or on eBay. And this is a, a python or snake skin. I don't know if it's python. What is this? Thing? Well, I know it's the same as this tag here, and this tag says, um, no, it's the strap that says genuine snake skin. So it doesn't say that it is python, but it's snake. And so I saw this on eBay, and it was on sale for like $75 or $80 with shipping. And I knew for a fact that it's worth more, and it is worth more. And I love this bag. And so I carried this bag, so I also got this one. Which I didn't expect to win it because I didn't think that the, um, I didn't think that the, the bidding was gonna stay that low. So when it got higher, I was actually kind of shocked. But when I won it, I wasn't going to turn down the opportunity to buy it. This is for that. 
because I was one hell of a day. So then, Coach Outlet went live on the website, which they used to be members only. So then they went live online and they started having like, anybody could go on there and purchase. So then I saw this. <clears throat> and now this is called the Lunch Pail Reissue. And the reason why I really, really, really like this is because on here it says Lunch Pail. Let me read it because it's backwards on there. Lunch Pail, a Coach Archive re-edition. So there is, there are vintage versions of this bag that look exactly like this from the hardware and everything, which I actually appreciate because sometimes when they come out with something that's a re-edition, they will still find some way to change it up. And sometimes I believe when something is good, you should just leave it like it is. When you come back out with it, leave it like it is. Now, if you're making an upgrade, excuse me, if you're making an upgrade to it that makes it more functional, then I do understand that. But otherwise, just leave it as it is. Perfect example. The new Louis Vuitton Speedy, right? They have the Speedy Nano that is, um, um, it's vintage. So you can get that bag and it has a detachable strap, which for these little bags like this, that's cute because it's not always something you're gonna wear on your shoulder. So sometimes you actually do need the detachable strap. Well, they came out with it again, like a reissue of it. And on the new version, you can't take it off. Why did you even play with it? They should have just left it as it was, but they, they played with the design and now it's not exactly as great and I don't like that. So anyways, they came out with this bag and it was the reissue of the lunch pill bag. And I actually really love that they just, they didn't even really do anything to change it. Which they didn't need to. Now to start, I am wearing like five spritz of this, spritzes, spritz, I don't know how you say it. I've spritzed this cologne on myself today, like five shots when I got ready to make this video. If you smell, if you smell good, you feel good and you act different. And this is stuffed with this paper, right? This air paper. You can still smell the leather on this bag. Girl, it smells so good. I love it. And it's not raw inside. It's actually like a cloth material. So if you wanted to, you could actually use this like a lunch pail, which I think would be kind of cute. Do it like once or twice. Don't do it a lot. But it's got one pocket in the back that comes with the care instruction book. And the thing I do think is like really good about this is that I, you see these? These little gills on the side or little flaps on the side. I like that because you don't have to feel like your stuff's gonna fall out. I have little flaps in there. And then there's a pocket in the front. But it's very easy and simple and it's just really, really nice and I like that. And then it comes with a thin strap also, which I don't, I'm not opposed to because actually like before quarantine, I was a little lighter, so and I've always been self-conscious of my stomach. I, I'm real quick to look like a poo bear with a crossbody. So I've always been really, really self-conscious about that. Self-conscious and cautious. Yeah. So before quarantine, I might've worn this more with a guitar strap during quarantine and like, I guess post pandemic, whatever I even say. I'm a little thicker. And also when I was at the grocery store, I had it on just a regular strap and I had it as a crossbody and I had it flipped to the back. So it was like sitting right here on me and it made it easier for me to shop. So I'm I'm not sure that I'd be all for just having it with only the thick strap. So I do appreciate the thin strap and it has the gun metal, which I actually don't have any bag straps that have the gun metal. I thought I did, but I don't. So it, It's kind of hard for me right now to just like throw a whole bunch of straps on there. So I think that I kind of told myself you need to learn to love the strap that it has. And again, it's not too thin. I don't, I don't show the straps in these videos because one strap 
they're all the same. But then it has this trend lock pocket, which is kind of cool. This is, I don't use it. I mean, this is only the second time I've used that trend lock pocket and that was only to show it off. So I love this bag. And I got that one. And then I was joking about if anybody wanted to buy me a bag because it was Juneteenth and uh, the beginning of Pride Month. And do you know that someone actually did? So, I don't know where the, okay. So, dust cover, we do a, this is called, I believe it's called the Coach Vanity. I don't remember what it's called actually, but that's irrelevant. It's this really cute crossbody, but I also like because it's the top handle. And the top handle is, it's like got a fixed handle. So it, it won't move. So it's like always like this. And I like that because it's just very, and I like that it has a little back pocket. Probably won't use it unless maybe like if we get back out into the world, I'd probably use this for something like a uh, ballet ticket, something simple really quick. But for the most part, I probably wouldn't use it. I do like that this one, unlike this here, this is one compartment. Ooh, girl. This is one compartment where you can put everything. I like this one because it's two. So if you clear it out, it's got one side here, right? But then you can clear it out over here. And it's got another side. So it's got two parts. There's no pockets on the middle side. There's a pocket in the back, which I wouldn't use. And yeah, I like this because it holds just enough. And so this is what I think is a bonus right here. Like this bag, <clears throat> you could use it as a bag, a crossbody, right? You could use it as just a bag. I would use like a lunch bag is what I would say, like to go out to lunch with my husband or like a movie or something like that, or even the mall. But you could also, if you travel and you go places, I feel like this is the kind of bag that you could also pack as like a, a makeup case or a vanity case, or like we have two senior dogs. So for us, we could use this as a um, medical case to have like all their medicines and stuff. And I think that that would actually have a really good purpose. So then there's that. Um, the thing that I'm really, I mean, someone gifted this to me. I think people don't gift them things. So that's really, really sweet. And secondly, the reason why I like this is because it's canvas. So I feel like with even more than the leathers, with the canvas, you can probably, well, you can, there's no probably about it. With the canvas, you can take this out and like if something, if I had, if it got nasty or if I wasn't really happy with it, I could just probably take, um, there's no probably about it. I could just take these water wipes, which these are baby wipes that are 99.9% .9 water. And the other ingredient is, Ninety nine point nine percent water, and then the other point zero zero point one percent is citrus. It's grapefruit seed extract, so it's not that bad at all. I use these on my dogs also, but you can take that and you can wipe this down, and you don't really have to worry about anything. It's not going to do any damage at all, and that's something that I'm finding myself a little more into in the times of COVID, just because it's a little harder to, you want to work harder, I guess, to stay clean. So cheers to everyone. And this is the bag that I've been waiting on. Now this is called the Coach K, K-A-Y. I do know that. I've never seen it in person. I've actually only seen it online and it was sold out. And so then I had it as a favorite and I guess because I had it favorited in my um, wish list, I got an email asking me if I wanted to buy it. So I decided to buy it. Now I already knew that this wasn't gonna come with a dust cover. So I already bought one. 
and it's sitting around some over here extra. So I already knew that it wasn't gonna have one, or I'm assuming it doesn't have one. So it comes like this in the box. This is the sales receipt, which is just a big old double sticker, I guess, in case you want to re return it. Yeah, it comes with a return uh, label, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, and just for clarity, I paid 119 total for this. That's why I bought it, because when I saw it and I knew I wanted it. This is the return slip, so it also, comes with the return slip and you have to fill it out and it has all the information as to, I guess, why you'd be returning it. So, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it, but I've never seen it in person, so let's see. I'm seeing some details in the bag already though that are exciting me. Okay, comes in plastic, paper. comes wrapped in a foam, paper. Oh my goodness. Paper, paper, and here it is. Oh, I do love it. My Coach K. And as you see, it is so adorable. Oh my God, it is so cute. You know what my biggest pet peeve about handbags videos is? When people call their bags her or she or he, but when they gender their bags, I'm like, it's a bag. I'm trying to rip this without damaging my leather. Oh, this is so fucking adorable. It reminds me of a, another coach bag that I have. Oh, it's got the little turn lock, little protective thing here. Okay. Hold on, let me wait one second. Okay. It has the little protective things on here. The coach tag has a piece of plastic on it. And it is a very well placed piece of plastic. Okay. It's stuffed with paper, which I always keep the papers. Yeah, this is it, man. And it's got like a nice microfiber lining, which I really like also. And it is, okay, yeah, I actually am really digging this. It's got these little details on the back. I am actually really digging this bag. Does not have feet. Now this is called a coach trail bag, right? And I got this bag at Macy's one day. It was on sale for like, I can't even remember, but it was a really good sale. And this doesn't have the microfiber. So actually this one seems nicer in detail, which is odd because this one's the full leather version of a bag. But this is called the coach trail bag. And I took it to the coach store and I got a, a monogrammed name tag. Um, pardon me, I'll be doing the same thing for this one when the time comes to go in store. But this is really cute. I'm so sorry that I keep burping. And I know I'm gonna keep this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off.
So I just threw a whole bunch of random things in here. So let's just say that this is what I would need for a day. I don't know why we need all of these things. But this is cute. I could see it with its little case, uh, with its little strap. And the straps are on the side up here, so you don't have to really have anything going on the top. I think this is so adorable. Oh my God, Jesus. Now, the how you open it is you pull it and this piece of leather here is what's holding it. So personally, I wouldn't be stretching it all the way open too long because it's gonna crease every time you open it. So I'm gonna do this like once and that's gonna be it. So if I was to fill it inside, this is my door opener, which I got um, from Amazon and it's actually a little lifesaver. So you just hook the door instead of touching it. Because at first people were cleaning all of their doors. I don't see that anymore. Um, so let's just say that this is my quartz crystal for protection. I know that sounds to some people silly, but I believe in energy. So I've been uh, keeping this with me. And I believe that it's been keeping me Yeah. Then I have this, which I use to put my AirPods in. It's a vintage coach coin case. I have a vintage coach, I guess it's like a clay, a Louis Vuitton K, but I keep my keys inside of it. Um, sorry, I keep my mailbox key in there, my car key, my house key, and this coin that says be the catalyst of change that I got from the Holocaust Museum in Dallas, which if you haven't been to, I suggest you go to. I have my card holder, which is a coach card holder that I specifically purchased because it has the name embossed on it instead of with a plaque. My Michael Kors one has a metal Michael Kors plaque here, but sometimes it puts an indention on your bag. So I wanted something that was soft all around. Um, then I have this, which is another one of this uh, vintage Coach Clay. Right now I have a lighter and a hair tie in it. I usually also have my lip balm in it, which is the Welda lip balm. If you don't know what this is, I strongly suggest that you try it out. It's really good. W-E-L-E-D-A. If you're Catholic, you'll know what I mean. You know at Christmas time at uh, midnight mass, the ashes that they burn that are represent the body of Christ? This is what this smells like. And it smells so good. I could just smell it all day. It's got a very nostalgic feeling. So I would keep that in there. And then lastly, I put this in here. I don't know why I would actually put this in here, but this is a, it's a wristlet that I got that I put an extra mask inside of, just in case I ever forget my mask. What I want to do is I want to remove this lot of strap and I want to get a different, like a coach zipper pull to put on here. Cause so I don't like this wristlet thing. I would never use that. But that's a lot of things that you could put inside of this. If you really stop thinking about it. So just to re, oh, do you want to see my chain that could the strap that it has provided for it? Mama. Okay. So here you go. So it is a full leather strap, right? And then it has this little chain detailing on the bottom. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I hate this chain. This wallet. I mean this uh, strap. I hate strap. I would probably use this one. 
this is a different coach strap that I have, but I feel like the chain was unnecessary, so I'll probably put that on there. I mean, like, this has got the same finish and everything too, so it's, it's really not the big of an issue. When I package this for the night and I like put it away, I'll make sure that I stuff it because the canvas is a little flimsy in comparison to the leather, but that's it. There's nothing that can be done about that. So I'm not really complaining at all, but I love this. And I love these buttons that I've gotten. And I know that I'm really blessed because I can do this during quarantine, so I'm, I'm not bragging. I guess I'm kind of just expressing my uh, enthusiasm for the bag. But um, I hope everyone is safe and that everyone is taken care of and that you are able to find refuge in some way. For me, it's buying handbags and just uh, kind of groveling at their craftsmanship and just really uh, expressing my enthusiasm for them. So anyways, this is a long ass video and I'm sorry that it's so long, but I just hope that you um, found a little bit of enjoyment out of it. And I want you to know that just getting to talk to y'all kind of makes me happy because unfortunately we can't see friends the way that we want to right now. And that's kind of just gonna have to be what it is. But anyways, I love you all and I will see you later and I will show you the next round of that. Oh, I forgot I also got this. So I also bought this bag charm from Coach. And I love it so much. I got it for so cheap in comparison to its original price. And you just kind of, uh, it's easier to do when you're on a bag, but it slides in there and then it loops. And I just think this is so pretty, so cool. Tell me you don't love it. <laughs>